All right, time for another Eastern Conference matchup. It's the rematching take of Canes and the Bruins. This time, I will have the commentators up here. At that point, I am all finished here for the day as I will have it here to be on the board. But right now, I will be back here in the post game to finish things off here. So after the commentators are finished here for tonight, tonight's game, I will finish it off with the post game status of each place. So, it's time for the fourth game of Bruins and Carolina Hurricanes. This time, I'm going to say, OJ and Meatbone, you guys start now. Enjoy the game, folks. Let's get started at Boston at TD Garden Arena. Hello, everyone. OJ here along with Meatbone. We are back here at TD Garden Arena to get started off here for the Eastern Conference matchups. The puck is all set, as right now they, we have Game 4 ready to be played here for the fourth game of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Boston takes the win here and we are underway. The matchup right now is in between the hands here, or in between Henderson and Hallmark. In between the range of those two, they have some uh, other techniques that they have played here before. My goodness, here, I know someone else that they have definitely got a great status out there in between those two teams. And I know one thing that did happen is that the Hurricanes already beaten against the Boston Bruins in the first game. What a great start here for the Stanley Cup playoffs as they already got their number of statuses up down. Now they need something else to keep their eyes on here to give it all they got. Right now here's Turbane, only had scored a couple of them since the last game. Slap it inside, and he takes a whip off around on Omar. Here's Riley, gets a little bad heavy traffic out there. Bergeron, slap shot and save goes off on Anderson. Now the Kings are back in the offensive attack. And they won't pick up that play. They will go right into to D'Angelo. Now he moves quickly over to Slavin, back to D'Angelo. Moves across around to Otto. Back to Jarvis. And they had a bad releasement here with the pass as this will now be changed off again. They really got to start figuring things out. This is what they need to do when they, when they play on offense. They really can't find any other man to have the advantage up there. They need something else to go from beside from the tact attack. Pass with the shot. Out it goes. Hago scores. He releases one for the fourth game. That's a savior at that point. He knows that Argo gets it right down in there. Now they have the Hurricanes up on the board. Carolina Hurricanes have gotten their first game, first game score here for the fourth game here against Boston Bruins. This one is now a one nothing game here for Carolina. Oh, inside, off by Anderson. Fast in the corner of the wall. And we got something going on. There's a lot of intense work out there. Nothing is going to stop you down because all of a sudden, they need something else here quick to make things a little more much happening. Well, most of all, it would be fine. But no worry, can't be okay. Stall in from the corner of the box. Moves straight quickly up, and it's Hollywood with the steel take. This one goes off a heavy traffic out there. Hall recovers, and it's tipped him again. Trying to hold on with the puck. Gershuk moves over to Prostradux. Boston Bruins are working their way past the neutral face-off zone. And it's redirected by Andretter. Moves across. And we got an offside with the call of icing on Carolina. 
You can see that Jesper Fast was even pushing up his momentum. He got locked up already. Just gotten a little bit of a shocking disappointment out there for him tonight. Still lots of time left here as it's now a 1-0 lead for Carolina. Puck is dropped and we, the play resumes. Kakiri's got the puck across the offensive end now. Moves over to Lorenz. Now he reaches over to Bear. Carolina inside with the attack. It's off the go go pad by Omar. Moves inside. Oh, it's saved me by Madrona of the of Omar. Omar really knows his way. His true making can be only anything that he knows for. Smith. Shot release off by Anderson with the save. And he gets knocked down. Let's get drafted. Nedretter backing over his bear. Bear gets ripped around. Nickus right to right to Nedretter. As the Kings needs to work their way with the puck control while he's been working their way around. It's a good idea to keep an eye on the puck. Because you're never gonna need to know when it comes through. And he went inside! True check releases it! And it's a 2 nothing game! Vincent Trocek, my goodness! We gotta look at it again. What, what happened here? Well, <laughs> the puck went in on the crease it. The player didn't go in the crease it. Well, <laughs> this is a very tough one and nobody has ever heard of it before. I wasn't gonna replay that one, but this was, should have been a challenging call here for the Boston Bruins this time. Well, now they have a 2 nothing lead in this game off the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Nekus reels it back, and they will have to carry it offside, almost out. Marchman gets the puck. Now he will have his own face-off zone. Back to Nekus. Moves it quickly to Slavin. Now he moves to D'Angelo. He gets knocked down. He had a big timing and offer with the stopping and saving a low moments. This was ever to happen like he did here before. McAvoy can't find anybody. Puck clears out. And this one will call an icing on Carolina. We're still getting there underneath the uh, underneath the almost at the midway point. Period for period. Now Boston plays. Pasternox, McAvoy, up on Mark on Anderson. Turin, oh, well, almost went bad, broken up. That really does save it by the bite. They knew, they knew they were gonna get there in time, but if they went too soon, well, it's never gonna happen again. Turin inside! Oh, he gets knocked down by Almark. It's a close call, but no, and nobody is hurt. So, it's a good idea to make a save here. Wow, big body check here on Abu, onto Hall, and now this is definitely going to be a bad, a bad angle. Terrain has it all aboard. Buck reaches out of control. Now this will have to reset things up here to start for the Canes here again. Yeah, because what they need to know, they didn't really want to pay attention at all times. This should never let this happen like that before. And now, they need something else to make it quick. Anderson comes in for the puck. Now he will dish it off to Oppo. Take the tape over to Terrain. Gets a poke check release. It's a shot! And it's saved by Omar. And it will hold the puck here to reset their, their uh, courtesy line for the first period. Make it snappy is now Brandon Marchman right in, a, in his own defensive. This defensive zone is making it snappy, making it quick. Now he needs to know his moment of time cannot be raised here at that point. He wants to make this thing easy and wanting to keep it going. Wow, he was going right for the attacker. Just got a little pickup heavy play, like a cat picker. Moves it quickly to Kakemi. Can't give me the best. Gets picked, lifted, and Senji will have to reset it from outside the range. They now know their way. They gotta, they gotta figure things out here on the board. 
Kakemi with the shot. He scores! That's three in a row in the first period. It looks like Jesperi was gonna try to do something a little different here. He wants to make a make a make a slide with that spin move. Well, uh, it was very tough for him to keep an eye on that shot. As this one still leaves it up here in the book, it's now a three nothing lead for for Carolina. Now they are working their picked up time. Bergeron right to Marchand. Marchand getting in trouble, and Adreder gets a steal. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Bear reaches up to Cole. Moves back to Fast. Now he moves to Bear. With the shot off on Olmark, it's another save B. Save off the Dreader on that point. Most of the drive can be definitely a trouble making. Cole, unable to connect with the pass. Bergeron has it out with the McAvoy. Oh, we get picked it. It's really going to be a very much fighting going on in between the Canes and Bruins. Stahl recovers. Five minutes to play here for the first period as the score is now 3-0 for Carolina. Cole almost went bad brokening up here. Schnutzikov shot way off the mark. Nebrus right to Frederick. He gets another poke check. Frederick, Coyle, and this one gets reached out of it nowhere but behind. Coyle, with a release bit, taking a bad defense. Inside now, saved by Anderson. That's a great help here on that one. Now that Anderson got it, got it in control, he now needs to something else to get right in through it. Now he moves back to Snetsikov. Cole moves over to D'Angelo. We almost get broken up here as Stahl recovers, and it's McAvoy with the steal. D'Angelo steals it again. No penalty going on for Carolina, and they still got a need to make another quick angle move. They know their way. They know they got them numbers. Wow, and now Coyle is doing his thing again. Wow, in between the uh, attack pens. Ward goes around to Sensikov with the shot. Good save by Omar. They will hold the puck here, and it's now 209 left to play in the first period. This one is giving him a lot of chance here for the Carolina to make a face off here for a win tonight. They're looking for something um, in, in particular motion that they need here. Now they need something else to, like, try to face off the attack. They need something else to go right into the bottom of the books. And Jarvis can't find him. Sevji looking for his player to go right around the board. And this one has been connected. Disconnected. Now that gets to Jarvis. And the quarter coming down to a close. We are under now with 60 seconds to go in the first period. Moves the board again to Nekas. With the backhand, stopped by Omar. Now that Omar really has it all pressured out here so far, they now need something else to get right in the average to make a speed pay. The Bruss takes a steal. Marta, right in the wall, inside. That shot blocked. And Omar has it recovered. Wow, this is another great saving out there by Omar. Now the first period will be taking care of it. The claws that could be going for another extensive time. Boston wins in the defensive zone. Carry the puck. Blocked up. And the first period it comes to a close. It's now 3-0. Carolina in a great transition out there. It looks like they're streaking in the powerhouse rumble. They wanted to go back home to do it again and win it all here in the first round. We'll be right back after this one. Second period's coming up after this. We're off to start here with the second period. Uh, glad you will join us today. 
And we're about to get started here for the second period. Carolina wins and the play resumes here for the first period completion. Now you're serving. Slavin right to D'Angelo. D'Angelo can't even control the puck. He's really losing his skills. Now he needs something else to go right for the attacker instead. He needs one of the teams to get right back on offense. And this one goes for the whistle. And there we go. This is another fighting going on that they need. Wow, big attack. And that doesn't deliver here with a fight against match. Yeah, this was very that tough. And just like what the players have done, Carolina, they are like knocking them quick. They really got something else going on. Man, that was like a hard one that they have put it up here. The five minute fighting is going on, slapping a McAvoy with the five minute fighting going on as the fight was already accepted. Now the play resumes with only under 19.10 to go. And oh boy, this attacker can be very dangerous. Shot blocked and denied. Snezhikov releases up back to Anderson. Now he will reset it up here to Sevji. Trocek. Right pass in the offensive end now. In the blue line. And he scores! Trocek! Two goals in the season. This postseason is keeping him uh, like a big come true. Look at that. How can you know that Trocek was getting there? Well, the backhand shot was released. And it went off again. Outside the range. This is really like a troublemaking. Carolina is now picking up their steam of pressure ahead. And looking for a chance to go to the second round in the end. In the Stanley Cup playoffs, this conference finals gives him a lot of hard time and only the effort can pay him off. Now he needs something else to get right into it. Shetsukov, Seji, and Marchand, here we go! How did he save that? Oh man, he is not going anywhere. That was like the only one he was never going to get there in time. Looks like Anderson got it, got it in timing quick. Bergeron now moves to Carlo. Bruins passing the future zone. Wow, looking for big hits again. And it goes again. He's like a big out, out there, like an incredible Hulk. Like he's like a Hulk smasher. He was going to be able to stop them in time. Snubs a cup right over to Stahl. Stahl reaches inside. Two on one. And they won't pick up that play. Fast. Stall. Shot in. Uh, Olmark. And they will have to blow the whistle here for, uh, for stopping the clock. There are a lot of face-off wins here for eight in a row for Boston Bruins. But there could be one for Carolina. Carolina really needs to get right into this. They need something else to make it quick, make it easy. And with all with the sudden impact, this needs to go for a heavy motion out there to make it all over again. Riley steals it up. Hall oh, back in outside, and that's now Nekus. Nekus loses a puck. Pasternak gets a puck. Inside, Anderson saves again. He's really like going for a heavy, heavy take for Anderson. Now he really wants it. He stacks it quick down in the line. Trojak now on the board. Pass. Moves over to Sergi. Sergi getting a little ripped up again. Sergi up. Oh, got a big hit. Trojak. And he was loose. Jarvis. Shot was off and on knocked away. This was a very tough inbounding. Man, how can you believe there is another way to get by around it? Coyle reaches over to Riley. Now he moves to Pasternak. And Frederick off with a pad of Anderson. Puck clears out. And this will be taking over here for another Hurricanes to pick up their set. And Pasternak takes a steal. Bruins are in the offensive end. 
Detroiter with the steal. Now stall. Nobody on the right side as he wants to recheck this way and he wants to get out of the way. And stall goes down. Oh man, the top players are right in the bound. Baron Bruin can be the only tricky way to get high value. He scores! Coil for score in game four. Charlie Coyle really dominates him up here, and now they are never going to lose it up here. He wanted to go here for the first one in game four. Right now, Charlie Coyle's got his first goal of a game in playoff mode, and it's game number four. It's now 4-1 game as a, as a hurricane lead by three. Now he will move over to fast. D'Angelo up to Slavin. Slavin goes right back, but a bad pass angle. Bergeron's got the puck. Now he goes right back to the blue line. Oh my goodness! Anderson, what a save! My goodness. That was like a toughest one. He has gotten lucky. Carolina wins in the uh, in defensive end. McMarchman, DeBrusque, shot is went off wide. Carolina back on the attack. Driving it up with the shot. Wrist the shot. It goes way off the mark. Schnetzikov right over to Turing. Shoots up a wide. And it's knocked away by Olmark. Olmark really news his way through. Now he's really in quick in transition right down there. D'Angelo got the piece of it. Kukemi's got the puck. With two on one, oh, what a stop made by Olmark. And Lawrence almost would have had that one with a two on one with the assist. Just under a midway period to go here in the second period. It's now 4 1 of Carolina. Now, Boston Bruins will fix things up. Big hit! Marinuk's backhand pass shot goes off the pad. Pass inside, saved by Omar. Lazar goes right to Riley. Musa Falingo. Moves it quickly over to Nosex. Don't check the way. No six again. Now you moves it inside. Two on one. Anderson stops it while cross with 838 to go. It looks like Anderson and the other guys are really like they wanted to get re-energated out there. Still lots of time left here for Boston Bruins. It's still 4-1 in the game. Carolina wins again. Fast goes back into the offensive end. Now the Carricanes are under under in the attack stage. Searching the pass. That's getting a little bit walked up around here, and now he really wants it. This only turnover is making great. Great like in, like they have here before. They were looking for another way to get right around it. Now he moves to stall. Saul gets whipped. McAvoy. Oh man, this is another bad hit here. Trocek is definitely going to save it. He knows that one. I think that Trocek would really want to get right around it. Nidrider in the offensive end now. He makes a shot. And it's off the pad. And it's Omar with the save. What a great call. Still more time left here, 6.44 to go, and it's now only still 4-1 game. Carolina still gets back in the average with the higher skills. Turn inside, back in the shot goes wide. Schnetzikov in, shot denied. D'Angelo whips out, he gets really a hard hitter. Ruins looking for attack, 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 attack. Carlo Musa Hall. 
drone check trying to stop one. Carlos still has his puck control. Now Boston will head their way into the neutral zone. And this one goes out of reach. Icing is the call on Boston. We only seen that 23 shots on goal was turning out to be Carolina Hurricanes. But there might be some another change up here if they can go for another lookout in the range. But they want something else here to go right from big instead. Now they got something else here to go right from attackers. Lorenz has his puck in control. Hall takes a steal. Gets whipped around. Hurricanes back in the offensive end with the attack. Katemi moves to slamming right over to D'Angelo. With the shot, Omar saves me again. Frozen puck is dropped as Kern Kings will try things again from the top. More up, fine sketchy. Oh, sketchy almost got lost of it. Pass. Shot when denied. Fast. Oh, Bergeron has got a stoppage. His most soft stoppage is the only way to get right around it. Now he knows his way through. Moves it quickly over to Fast. 320 left here for the second period of the game. Negros right to Marchand. He gets another big hit. Stall. And no bad here for the pass here as Marchand steals it. Off the wide with the body check. Body check is the only way that you can definitely do that. But if you are hooking something, that's going to be a disqualification. Oh, Zulistika! He scores! It's now a 5-1 game. Most of this game in career average of Yusnetsukov has released his average clutch. Now he knows his way. He is a huge makeup pointer in the brand. Carolina Canes are now 5-1 and one as they are, they are up in a lead by four. Terry right to Bear. Moves it quickly over to Cole. Shot blocked. Real check right over the coil. And he gets another poke check again. Almost went by loosely. Oh, how did he get there up inside? Anderson really doesn't save it again. He now got it. Beast and icing. As Cod Kemi will take the puck release. Bear releases out. Down to a minute left to play in a second period. Quill in the heavy traffic out there. Frederick in the wall on the wing. Really wanted to broke things up again. They really do. They really need something else to go right from along the attackers. Lorenz picking up Steve. Lorenz work his way through. Bear, Coil. Rejected by Pasternak, Hall inside, oh he went off wide. The second period is finished, 4-1, now brings up 5-1. Increasing for the Kings to be up for 3-1 over Boston. Third period is next after this. This puck is now ready to get the books here as the final period is about to be dropped. And the puck drops down and we are all set for the third period. I'm telling you this one, yeah, those two teams are definitely doing a great job out there so far. And uh, you take your info, which one do you like to play most? Well, I think this was definitely all the attack range here on Carolina right now. It looks like they really got some great work and they had pressure. And you're talking about D'Angelo right down there. 
This is what he needs to know. He has a lot of his more average skills that he has played off here before. DeBrus right back in the pit class in the blue line. Now another truck away, take away by D'Angelo. Terrain regroups. And you will have to like slide it back again and do it all over again. D'Angelo work his way around with the poacher. Now he needs something else to go right around the, on the, the dreader. Terrain inside. Shoots! Saved by Olimar. And the brush go along. I'm in rush. Oh, he just couldn't save it. It was a bad release bit out there. This is calling for Anderson like he was pulling out there with the trick. Poke check again by Slavin. Now he has his buck. Another one goes down. Moyla still has a back. Wants to get revenge here. Hoyla just got a little bit of auto, even controlling nation that he wants to pick up. So all pass the neutral zone. Now he goes to quick the hall. Boston gunning him back in the, in the offensive end now to give it another try. Slavin gets broken up. Martinets 2 on 1. Stall. Releases! Saved by Omar. Off the pad it goes. Can't be wasting too much time. Smith with the poke check. Now he loses Smith. Off the hold. Oh, great poke check by Skudgy. Marinuts whistles out the whip. Inside, and a man gets right over with the blockness of traffic. They now need something else to get right into the boards out there. They need something else to make it quick. And Frederick inside. Tachi will still have it all. Lorenz. Over to Marnux. Marnux with the shot. Shot blocked again. Nebrus. In the wall of the corner. Gets right inside, and it's Martinets with another steal. Very now in that one. Every play they do, this is what they need to get right into it to stop the clock from players. Chris Lepp over to Bergeron. Moves over to Brusk. Poke checked away. Carlo will reset. 13 minutes left here for the third period, and it's still 5-1. Gets a little tight squeeze out there, but not a body slam. They now know that one. They were trying to keep an eye on the pride. Trojak, backhand! He couldn't find one. And a bad pass releases. The puck gets cleared out from the wall, and they will have to try to reforce their group. Another chance. Carlos inside now. Right to Gerslick, right to Depress. Back in the neutral zone. But offensive in now. Got a little piece out there. This now gets really getting a lot of strength. Now it looks like the players really wanted to stop them. Excuse me, they wanted to stop them. Moves the board up again, and Omar will have to stop the puck here, and now dish off to McAvoy. Stall. Still gets carried out. Grushlik. Right over the merger on. Bastardox gets his puck here, right passing the uh, defensive end. Now moving to Hall. Getting a little piece out there. Terrain still having a way through, but he has a hard time keeping an eye out here on the puck. Back in the offensive end now. Now he reaches up to Riley. Hall! Oh, Anderson with the save. Anderson really needs gun. Needs his workout. Now he's really going to go right from his strength. And a bad pass releases on Snetchikov as Riley will take it back. Bergeron passing back in neutral face-off zone. Karsenox! Oh, he gets whipped out! 
Anderson stops again, and it's still no score for the Bruins. I don't know what's so quiet, however. They need something else to get right on the hustle. Moves over to D'Angelo. He shoots up again. Snutsikov went off target. And it's now Hall. One on one break. He scores! Taylor Hall is making it snappy. What a great breakaway drive, and it's now with the Taylor Hall run. They really wanted to see that one with a snappy moves. Taylor Hall has a team now coming down by three. It's 5-2 in the third period. I don't know what to say, but it, <laughs> we might be seeing we might be seeing Boston winning the game here if they can try to like keep a close range of the neck neck run. Marnox clears it out. Lorenz beats Ison. Gets whipped out. Coil resets. Frederick up. Gets poked again. Marnox over to over the the anchor. Facing again, McAvoy. McAvoy moves over to Frederick. Moves over to Riley. Off the coil, and it's gets intense down. This is not looking so good here for the players. They need something to stop. And the fight is over. Now the Hurricane player goes down and Boston regains their energy. Wow, the fans really knew it. They, they really got some, a lot of work out there. First, it was the first period. And then secondly, it was the third period. That's all that happened. Still more time left here for the Boston Bruins to pick up their strength out there. More speed, more intentional hits, more working play in action. Here's Coyle. Slap shot gets blocked. Coyle, Anderson saves again. Trocek now has his own way to get back, back into the offender player. Trocek in, shot blocked. Coyle not able to have a great session out there. Over there again to Jarvis. Jarvis really works his way around again. It's uh, now off again on Omar. Omar really now knows his way, keeps it alive. Fulborg goes over to Falling though. Now he moves to quicker to Lazar. Lazar slap shots, and he goes off target here, saves again by Anderson. Fast? Oh, somebody get fast out there on defensive. Jarvis backhand, up with a goal pen tender. Sergi up, and it's now Bergeron with the steal. Pass gone Bergeron. And it's Tro Trocek with these takeaway. Takeaways can be the only way to get, to get right around it, but now this really needs to get step up more. Fast gets Trevin. 348 to go here for the third period. Pass right to the boost. Clifton. Jarvis again, takes the puck, Forbot still has a moment to get right into the neutral, two offensive end. Nebrust trying to work his way through, Marchand ends back in the offensive end now. Pass, unable to connect here for the uh, Boston Bruins with the open pick screens. Moves over again. Omar will have to save it here, and it will hold the puck here to regain their energy. We all called about that one as making it snappy, and Sebastian Ago with the Australia Cell House. Well, that might be something weird going on here, but now they need something to know where they can get to it in time. Omar saves again. 2.20 left to play here in the third period. Almost down, coming down to the wire. There is no time left. 
They know they really got to figure out something. They need something to make it quick. Bugs, the biggest biscuit is, is dropped and the play resumes. And this one goes for the penalty card on Boston with a tripping. Oh boy, it looks like Brad Marchand is not happy. All this behavior is being ripped out here behind. Now he's been here with the player with the five minutes being almost timed up. Now they will go ahead and get a chance to get a power play goal for Carolina. Carolina wins and the power play is on. D'Angelo will have to reset here. Moves over to Lorenz. Over again, Terry! Up again, Olmark saves it again! My, oh my! Now that is just a great save here by Olmark. We're under two minutes left here as this one is coming down on the wire. A minute and 37 to play in the power play. Shoot to come! Chop shot scores! It's a power play for the Hurricanes! Wow, quick face-off drop. And Snezikov, what do you have to say? The slap shot goes in there? That's where the puck goes in here for the goalie net. The power play goal comes up for the second time in a playoff series. This one keeps it going with a great strike here from those two teams. That's why they couldn't be able to compete here. They couldn't make a win out there. Well, some of the players could definitely be on a hard stretch. Well, it clears out, and it's now going to be a whistle on nothing with the call. Last man left, such a call saved by Omar. Now, Angelo whips down, such a call still has a cover. Turning up again by Trocek. And can't get it to go. Trocek releases, saves it over to Snetsikov. Snetsikov gets whipped up. D'Angelo inside, and it's Carlo taking it away. Paul back in, and in, back in passing defensive to offensive in. Poke check away. Paul still working his way around, up again by Anderson. My goodness, Anderson was gotten lucky. He was just all he had to do. Is try to save the puck like he did before. And the Canes will have to finish things off here with a 6-2 win. They now lead the series 3-1. What a great night here in hockey. Now this is what we call it for Hurricanes to return home in Game 5. We will see how well they do here if they want to get back in the game. So that does it here for today. OJ and me Foner are gone. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs of the NHL 22. And now for the post game and coming up, we will take you right over to Son of Beast. Son of Beast, it's all yours for your post game status. Your final score of 6 to 2. Good night. And Boston. Thank you guys so much for joining us here, OJ and me phone. It's been a great pleasure to take the commentators for this game. Here are three stars. First star is Snetsikov. Two goals and two hits. All it turns out to be a backhand. That was all he had. Now, for number two, this goes out to Vincent Trocek. Two goals and one hit. It all does turn out to be just him. And for number one, what do we need to know? Better player. That goes for a Brett Pest. Three assists and three hit as hits here for this game. And that should take care for the Eastern Conference Game 4 of this matchup of Carolina Hurricanes and Boston Bruins. Just a lot of hits here for Boston to knock them down. But 17 hits up here on Boston. 94% here for Boston. And for power play was one-on-one, -on -one, was only one for Carolina of the power play goal. Ten minutes in the penalty minutes for Carolina and 12 for a penalty of Boston. 
It was very tough in between the range-offs here. Well, hmm. Yes, you may never might, they may never know if something pops up. So there could be a chance here to give it another whirl. So thank you all for watching, and stick around for the next game as the stars face on Avalanche here back at the American Airlines Center. Then we have another game here as the Rangers play against the Penguins here at the PPG Paints Arena. Then another one will be the Kings and Oilers at Rogers Place. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for the next matchup of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of NHL 22 Dial. Well, take care folks and peace out to all of you guys. Great night, great, great game. It was all blowout smoke.